It's time to come to Jesus. Come to Christ. It's a new day. You got breath in your lungs, a beat in your heart. You could still speak. It's time to come to Christ. People are very, very busy. Everybody's getting ready to worship Satan as an angel of light. You want the false light? You're going to miss the real light. Everybody getting busy. I heard the Lord sing. Bribe. He said talk about bribe. So we're going to talk about bribe today. Bribe. Lord said go and tell the people about bribe. Because right now Satan is the one in control of the world. He knows what he's doing and he's bribing souls. He's bribing, he's paying them off. You see, people find that if they go a certain pattern, worshipping him, who is not the way, the truth, and the life, people find that they prosper. They find that they get plenty of money. But I heard the Lord saying, bribe. He said, bribe. There's a lot of bribe going on. The devil is paying off people. He is paying off people for their souls, their eternity, their eternal destination lies in the balance. I heard the Lord saying, you cannot serve God and mammon. You cannot serve God and the demon of money. If you trust in him, he's going to give you what you need. But if you bow down and worship Satan, Satan's able to bless you too. Satan's able to give you anything in this world. If you just bow down and worship him, deny Jesus Christ as the way, the truth, and the life. But then your soul burns in hell. You could have any religion, any tradition, that you want. You can have any religion and any tradition that you want. The devil is going to, he's going to reward you for denying God. He's going to reward you for denying Christ as the way, the truth, and the life. You find those in religion, they prosper, they got money. But those in Christ, guess what? They got treasures that you can't put a price on. There are people living in mansions and they sad as. There are people. There are people that live in bungalows and mansions and they have no smile and no happiness within them. They cannot function. The Lord said, bribe. He said, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? How are you going? Can you profit anything? You good? One second. He said, What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? So he get the best house, the best cars, the best businesses, the best everything, the best clothing, the best jewelry. And then at the end of it, not even at the end, some people don't get to reach the end. Some people get taken out at a very young age. Some people get a couple of years. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his very soul? I heard God saying, tell them, can a man bribe God into heaven? 
can a man say, well, hold a little million and let me in heaven. Can a man tell the angels of heaven to open the gates? Just hold a little million, hold a little billion. Can you bribe God to enter into heaven? Can you bribe God to enter into heaven? Can you say, well, hold a little million, hold a little billion, and let me into eternal life? Do you know this is written in the Bible? Yeah, it is. I heard the Lord saying, bribe. Devil out here to bribe. And God doesn't like it. The Bible says you cannot serve two masters. You're going to love one and you're going to hate the other. If you serve two masters, you're going to love one and hate the other. If it's things you want in the world, you're going to have to make some, some sacrifices for it. What kind of sacrifices? All kind of sacrifices. Don't a blood sacrifice. And people do it. If you want things in the world, you're going to have to work on the Sabbath. You're going to have to work on the Sabbath. And God says, don't do it. He said, you can't serve him and mammon or the one who controls the money system. You can't serve God and mammon at the same time. But guess what? All the religion and all the tradition, it's all a big facade. It's a commercial thing. Why? Because the system runs on the money. Really? The system that people are under run on the money. People put their trust in money and not in God. They say God can't provide it. He can give you the breath in your lungs, but He can't provide what you need. He can't put the food on the table. He can't give you a house to live in. God can't clothe you. So what do you put your trust in? Money. You bow down to money. And right now it's our festival coming up where the devil presenting itself like an angel of light. What do you call it? You call it Lakshmi. And what does she give? Money. So what is people getting ready to do? Sell their souls and bow down to an angel of light. How do you think God feeling about this? You're about to find out how God feeling about this. He hates religion. How are you going? He hates religion. He hates tradition. Amen. He said, they call, they confess me with their mouth, but their heart be far from me. They bow down to the angel of light to elect me, because you can give money. But where is your trust in the God who makes you breathe at this moment? Where is your trust in the God that's permitting your heart to beat? You think it's Lakshmi? You think it's Durga? You think it's Buddha? You think it's Allah? Who you think it is? It's Yahweh! It's the great I am who I am! He's putting the breath in the lungs. He's permitting the heart to breathe. And if you should call God Allah, get ready to call him Jesus Christ too. Look at the angels. Oh wow. They're already coming out. Yes. Get ready. If you can call the Creator Allah, call him Jesus Christ too. Because the Creator is the Savior. I heard the Lord saying, the love of money is the root of all evil. The love of money, you know some people that's greedy for it. Gimme, 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 gimme. But trust in God. Yeah, but they don't. They don't. The love of money is the root of all evil. It is written. And God cannot lie. So let God be God and man be a liar. 
The love of money is the root of all evil. The love, you put it first. It's your first love. It's your first love. God's not your first love. Anji, or your cousin? You have been? You have been in your body? Alright, watch the car. Come, come. You sure you do have been? No. Jesus loves you, alright? He is your Lord God who made you. The love of money is the root of all evil. Why? People will do anything to attain property. People will do anything to attain vehicles. People will do anything to attain a status in this world. And when I say anything, they'll kill for it. They'll lie for it. They'll steal for it. Do you see where it goes? Go ahead. It's the love of money that brings a man into the state of greed. It brings him into a state of darkness. Into a state where he presents himself as a vessel for Satan to fill up. What is your first love? Is it God or is it this world? I heard the Lord saying, bribe, bribe. The devil is bribing people for their souls and they're falling into the trap. Jesus loves you. You're welcome. Bribe is going on. Bribe. How many have sold out their souls to Satan as a form of religion to gain money? How many? The Bible says the whole world lies in the hand of the evil one. Because the whole world going with the system. The whole world is going with the system. So bribe for your souls. Bribe for your eternal destination. You might say it's your tradition. You grew up in this home and that home and the other home. But God don't want to hear about tradition. He want to hear about truth. He want to hear about the word. He wants to hear about relationship. He wants to hear about relationship. Sin separates us from God, but the blood of Christ reconciled us back to him. Sin separates us from God, but the blood of Christ reconciles us back to him, brings us back to him, that we can run to the throne. How much suffering do people have to go through to understand that God is a jealous God, that the devil is asked for nations and he will take it by force. Hi. Jeremy, Jeremy, Jer Jeff. I'm good, how are you? I don't know with God's blessings. People have been praying. I've been praying myself. I'm not getting work as I used to. I used to be in advertising, as you know. I spoke with my aunt today. I was with my aunt. And I did. I think it's some work. Um, by her people. That's God's blessings. Me. Yes. He's opening a way. So I don't know if I'll see you. Once in a while, I used to see you last year. But you have busy. my number, though. And I think so. I th th my phone keeps flashing, and I changed my phone. My WhatsApp is not working too well. It's really good. Everybody's WhatsApp, actually. What's your telephone number? 727. 727. Yeah. Yeah. 8781. 8781. 8781. That's the image, yeah. <laughs> and yours? 6859130. 6859130. Do you want me to pray for you? Yes, please. So Father God, even as I lift up Jeremy Abraham before you, and thank you that you know him, thank you that you love him. Jesus, all those that the enemy calls before you, Lord God, we're just speaking to those to be open right now in Jesus' name. 
I speak and bring into his hands. Let him come from the east to west, lead to his self. Let him have options, Lord God. I just speak right now, Jesus, that your name will be glorified in his name. And you will not build the thing, Lord God. You put the people in place, you know exactly where you're leading you. Father, we trust you. Lord, we thank you for your amazing love and your peace that surpasses all understanding. Your grace that is sufficient and all your strength that is enough. Amen. Merry Christian. Yes. 7586 Yes. 68. What? 685. 685 Oh, remember. I'm trying to remember. You're 7586 All right. I will give you a buzz. 685 9130. Yeah, got it. Yeah, you good? All right. Jesus Christ is coming soon. Is he going to find you bowing down to an idol? When he passes by, is he going to find you worshipping a fallen angel? Is he going to find you worshipping Satan as an angel of light? Lakshmi, they call it. Is he going to find you bowing down to that? I want to know. The Lord says, bribe for the souls of the men. Bribe for the souls on the earth. It's bribe. The devil is bribing for souls. He wants to be in charge of your eternal destination. And the blood of Christ, it's the blood of Christ that has reconciled us back to God. Nothing else, nothing else but the blood. You can't put a price on the blood. Oh, Lord. How are you? It is well. Jesus name. All is well. Him, lads. Him, You told me you adopted me, remember? <laughs> but I lost your number, my phone blanked off, and I lost everybody's number actually. Not just yours. Oh, nice to see you carrying on the work of God. Yeah, thank you. What's your problem? The phone has not gone. But I'm going to get back to it, alright? Okay. God bless you, love. Bless, it is well, bless. yes. Come to Christ! I heard the Lord saying, Bribe! Bribe for the souls of men. How much is your soul worth? How much? How much is your soul worth? How much is your soul worth? Is it worth a mansion? How much is your soul worth? Hey, blessings. How much is your soul worth? The Lord says, bribe for the souls of men. Satan's paying them off. And he wants to know, how much is your soul worth? Hi. Your soul was worth the living God coming down here as a man and dying for you. Your soul is priceless and all souls belong to God. But they bow down to the fallen angels. Whatever they present themselves as, they bow down to call them God and they anger him who is called God. How much suffering do people have to go through before they understand that God is a jealous God. He made you. He died for you. He rose again for you. 
and he's coming back for you. You better understand it. You better understand it. Understand it while it's daylight. Understand it while it's daylight. Understand it while it's daylight. Understand that Jesus Christ is God while it's daylight. Night is coming when no man can work. You know what night time is? Night time is evil. Where if we preach the word of God, we're killed for it. So you're not going to hear a message. Night is coming when no man can work. It's daylight still. But it's seconds to midnight on the prophetic clock of God. Jesus loves you. We have entered into the hour that starts the tribulation. Get ready for seven years of it. Get ready. Jesus Christ is coming. It looks like things are going to be business as usual. It's not going to be. Jesus loves you. It's not going to be business as usual. Noah preached for 120 years. 120 years. He preached. 120 years saying the same thing. The rains are coming. Get into the ark. The rains are coming. Get into the ark. Do you need prayer for anything? Do you have pain in your body? Can I pray for you? What's your name? What? 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 Is, what are you gonna do? Pray for me? Yeah. What's your name? Why you wanna pray for me? Thanks. Do you have pain in your body? Yeah. Can I pray for you? Yeah. Jesus Christ is gonna take away your pain okay. immediately. If you believe, you can receive. But what's your name? Motila. Motila. Yeah. Close your eyes. Father God, I lift up Mutilal before you, Jesus, and I thank you that you're Lord God. Cover him now in your precious blood. Father, just speak right now for the pain in his body to cease because you were striped for his healing. In your name, Jesus Christ, now. No more pain in Jesus' name. None. All of it go. Every muscle, tendon, ligament, bone, and nerve align to the word of God in his name, Jesus Christ, now. Healing is the children's bread. Mutila, receive it. Check it out and tell me what you feel. It is? Is it immediate? It's going to be immediate, but tell me, like 10 being the highest amount of pain and zero being no pain at all, where it reach? Well, I walk yet. Take a walk and tell me. Tell me. A slight? Okay, so like about how much? 10 being the highest and 0 being no pain at all. Well, I would say about 40%. About? 40%. 40 remaining? So it's like a no, 5? No, Gone? Yeah. Is it your leg? Money. What? In, okay. Can you hold this umbrella for me? No, no, no. Just, just, no, just hold it. I know what I'm doing. Just, <laughs> okay. One more time. One more time. Father God, I lift up Mutila before you, Jesus, and I thank you that you're Lord God. Father, thank you that you touched him. And you brought that pain down. He said about 40% gone down. But Jesus, you're not a God of incompletion. You're a God of completion. So Father, I just command the 60% remaining to go in Jesus' name. Now. Total restoration to the knees. Cartilage. Restore. Tendon. Sorry. Restore. Cartilage. Restore. Tendons. Restore. Muscles. Restore. No more pain in Jesus' name. None. Check it out. Check it out. I'll tell you, I am the church. You are the church. I belong to the church of Christ. I am the church. Christ himself is the body. But I fellowship with Will Harper Square Tower. And I'm affiliated with King of Kings Ministries, Jerusalem, Israel. What are you feeling? Yeah? Well, if you have more time when you pass the map, let me know, all right? Or you're going inside there? Yeah. All right, so how much now? About how much? I think it's time to walk on here, just a few steps on the All right, so take a walk in. I just declare and create fire in his foot as he walks, Lord God, your fire, your healing fire. 
You're fire, Jesus. You're fire, you're fire, you're fire. Let this let his healing come completely. Fire in Jesus' name. Let it come, let it come. Total healing in Jesus' name. As he walks in and he walks out. Mighty God, continue to walk in him. Continue, continue, continue. Ah, he's stepping better. Walk, 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 walk in Jesus' name. Healing, 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 healing. The blood of Jesus goes with you now. Mochi Ram, go. Healing, Jesus' name. All right, Father, glorify your name. I heard the Lord saying, bribe. Bribe for the souls of men. How much is your soul worth? 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 What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? God says you cannot serve two masters. You're going to love one and hate the other. So if you love the world and you love money, you're going to hate God. You're going to hate everything that he orders us to be. Everything that he orders us to walk in. But if you love God, then you're going to hate the world. He said the world and him is at enmity with each other. The world and God is at enmity with each other. Just like the flesh and the world are friends, and the flesh and God are at enemy to with each other. The flesh loves to indulge in the things of the world. So the world that's against God works with the flesh. And God says, how much is your soul worth that you would deny me as Jesus Christ, who came down from the throne and died for you? How much is your soul worth that you would deny the living God to bow to traditions and religions of men. How much is your soul worth? It doesn't take much to see that a system of money is failing. It's failing everywhere. The system of money is failing. God is the one who is able to keep us. He said, I am the good shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. You shall not want for anything. But if you go after something else for a shepherd, he's going to leave you to go after it. He's not a God who forces. Satan forces and enforces. And that's exactly what the mass is about. That's exactly what the system of control is about. The devil wants to force and enforce humanity. That he has control of their eternal destination. The mask that you wear on your face is in Revelation 13. He caused the whole world to follow after the beast. The beast is a kingdom. The beast is a system. In the days of Caesar, that's what we're walking through right now. Rome is taking its place again to control. Do or die. Bow down or else. You get no food, you get no water, you get no clothing, you get no, no shelter. Bow down to the system or else. But you got to say, in God I trust. I know that the Lord God, Jesus Christ, He is the one who created. He is Yahweh Yeshua. In the spirit, He is Yahweh. You got to say that you know that even if the system of money fails and you can't come out here and sell or buy and sell because he said they were not permitted to buy or sell without the mark of the beast, the number of his name. But God says, if you take that mark, you're going to go into eternal flames. So there's coming a time and even now you're going to realize if you do wear the mask, do the sanitizing and all that, you can't sell. How hard is it to see? How hard is it to see? How hard is it to understand 
Without the mark, you're not able to buy or sell. You're not able to buy or sell without the mark. You gotta follow the system or else. You gotta choose this day whom you serve. Jesus loves you. And God bless you. You gotta choose this day whom you serve. If one day they say the vaccine is out, you gotta take it or else. You can't shop in a grocery. You can't go in a pharmacy. You're not allowed in a hospital. What are you going to do? Who do you stand in? You're not allowed to go to work if you don't take the vaccine. Right now the mask can go on and off. This thing that they're bringing, you can't take it out. Thank you. Jesus loves you. It's the DNA of the light bearer. That's what Satan was called. It's going to glow on your right hand. It's going to glow in your forehead. What are you going to say? Well, I'm going to take it just to eat. I'm going to take it just to wear clothes and to go to work. You got to say, I know the God I trust. And if I can't buy the groceries, and if I can't buy the clothes, and if I can't pay my bills, the Lord that I serve, the one who made me, he is able to keep me. Do you have the faith? God wants to know if you're sold out to Satan or if you're sold out to God himself. He wants to know if you're being bribed for your soul. It's a hard word. And it's not a popular word. But it's a word that's needed. It's a word that needs to burn inside. Tell you, say, I know the God I trust. And he's keeping me. He is keeping me. One Holy Ghost slap to your mouth. Perversion and a demon of lust. He said, he's keeping us. We all saw it during Corona. He poured out grace. He poured out grace. When it was locked down. Who kept you? You think it was your idols that kept you? It was the living God of heaven and earth that made you. You got to refuse to bow down to stone, paper, wood, rock. You got to refuse to bow down to the earth and bow down to the God who sits on the heavens as his throne. His name is Yahweh. His name is Jesus Christ. When he came down as the Savior. It means God who saves. That's all. God who saves.